And this leads me to the first topic, which is Young Buck. Um, I just recently actually DM'd Young Buck to get on this podcast. No, that's not the surprise guest that we were talking about in the last episode, but I recently DM'd him to get on the podcast because I've been wanting to talk to him about um, just his career, where he's went, you know, uh, his situation with G-Unit, 50, all them banks, and where he stands with them, and uh, just, you know, overall his career. I want to do a What Happened to video on Buck as well because – I want to highlight some of his mixtapes and tracks that people kind of slept on. And I usually tend to do that in the What Happened 2 series. So this topic is a little more on his personal life. But um, a couple of days ago, uh, TMZ reported that Young Buck's girlfriend allegedly fired a gun at Young Buck during their like dispute. They had a dis- disagreement, argument, and she allegedly fired a weapon. So let's let me go over the quick TMZ report. And then it says this, Young Buck might have dodged a bullet. We've learned his girlfriend got busted by the cops after allegedly firing a gun while squaring off with him. Law enforcement sources tell TMZ G-Unit rapper and his girlfriend were involved in a domestic incident Tuesday at a home in Tennessee. And at some point, she allegedly picked up a firearm and let off a few rounds. Excuse me. She, as you can see in the image captured by someone, so there is an image here. It basically just shows her on the driveway kind of aiming a gun at Young Buck's vehicle. And I don't know if Young Buck's in the car, but the report says he was. So I'm going to take their word for it. It says an image captured by someone who says they witnessed the incident appears to show Young Buck's girlfriend pointing a gun toward his truck at the foot of the driveway. Our sources say it's unclear if anyone was struck by gunfire or where the girlfriend was aiming. We're told she was arrested and booked for her reckless endangerment with a deadly weapon. And you can see her mugshot. Um, basically, kind of looks like she knows she did it. <laughs> She's she her face expression is like, damn, like I know I'm in trouble. So um, the news report continues and says, Young Buck's girlfriend admitted to the cops she fired at least two shots during an argument with Buck that ignited over social media passwords. According to the police affidavit, the officer says Buck's girlfriend told him, Young Buck told them that Young Buck flipped over a large glass table in the home during the fight and grabbed her by her jacket and tried to throw her to the ground. She told cops she escaped his grasp and went to the bedroom where she retrieved a handgun for a, from a gun safe. Neil told police Young Buck ran into the, the room and she pointed the gun at the ground. She claims Buck saw the firearm and went down to the garage where he started kicking a wall. According to the cops, Neil claims she went down to the garage, stood at the top step, and Young Buck started to come up the stairs aggressively. Neil told police she then fired a shot into the ground at the top of the stairs, and Buck started yelling at her to shoot him before jumping in his truck. Next, Neil told the cops she went outside to see if Young Buck had left, but he was still there, and he revved the truck and started driving towards her. Police say Neil claims she fired another shot outside and didn't think she hit anyone and insisted she wasn't trying to shoot Buck. When the dust settled, Neil told cops the damage to the home included two damaged TVs, paint thrown all over the room, living room and foyer, plus a bloke broken, ugh, James, broken glass table. So after this news report comes out, a couple days later, Young Buck himself gets arrested. And literally the day before this, I DM'd him um, to talk you know, about possibly bringing him on the podcast. So the next day, this news report comes out, Young Buck getting arrested on domestic charges. So the article says, uh, the WKRN reports the 39-year-old rapper, legal name David Donovo, was arrested Thursday in Tennessee on hand on a handful of charges, including domestic assault. The Summer County Sheriff's Office confirmed Buck was held on a $60,000 bond, but has not provided any more details on what led to his arrest. He was also charged with vandalism over $10,000, as well as unlawful possession of a weapon. News of Young Buck's arrest comes just days before his girlfriend, you know, was taken into custody. Um, and in 2016, he got locked up again. Young Buck was sentenced to seven months in prison after he violated terms of probation stemming from a domestic violence case. He was also redressed, arrested back in December 2019 on a fugitive warrant in Georgia. The warrant was issued for child abandonment. So... Now you guys know why I kind of entered in the way I entered in with this topic. Um, At a certain point in your life, and I can't speak on Buck, I can't speak on, you know, anyone's personal issues because 
I don't know what's going on. I don't know the ins and outs and I don't really care to know what's going on. But, um, for me in my personal life, when I see people are toxic and are bringing like the worst out of me instead of the best and they're constantly instigating things, you know, putting things in my ear. And I see this happen on, even on YouTube as a platform, there's a lot of hip hop people that make a lot of content and you'll even see, um, and these people I don't know, just people in the comments will say, oh, this person did this video and did it better than you, or this person made this video and they did it before you did it. And all this type of stuff to try to put things in your ear so you can kind of hate another person or just cause problems, you know? And people like controversy and people just thrive off that. People who are not happy with their lives thrive off controversy. I never want to see this situation for Young Buck. Young Buck to me is part of my childhood. Um, he's one of my favorites in G Unit. He brought that energy. He brought those crazy uh, the South energy. You know, every time he'd get on records, it'd be aggressive. So I hate when I see this about, you know, news about Young Buck having to go through these legal problems still. And he's about to reach 40 years old. It's like, you know, at a certain point, Buck, if you're watching this, you just need to cut out, man, certain people in your life, man. It has to be someone around you, some people around you that just do not want to see you do good. And they're instigating these things. And you run into these type of problems with people. And it's happened to me. It's happened to everybody, you know. And you need to catch that, cut it out of your life, that toxicity, and hopefully replace it with something more positive. And sometimes, you know, you don't replace it with something more positive. Sometimes, again, it repeats. But you need to cut that ag out again and try to be a better judge of character, you know. So... Um, this whole situation in, in itself is just, it sucks, man. Cause Buck was getting ready to release Buck back on my Buck shit volume three on January 1st. So I don't know if he's going to get to do that. I'm sure he's going to post the, the bond of 60,000 or the bail and uh, yeah, 60,000 bond. Um, I'm sure he'll be able to post that, but it's just, you know, Buck's even when Buck was back with G unit in 2014, you know, they had a track called Free Young Buck because he was already locked up again because of other things. So at a certain point, man, it's just, you know, you go from being a multimillionaire rapper to, um, you know, still being rich, but just having, you know, a bunch of stupid things, you know, the older you get, like I said, you shouldn't want to have these things in your life, you know, and I don't know if that's, if it's the girlfriend's fault, if it's Buck's fault, that's, I don't know, I wasn't there, but that clearly that relationship is not, you know, something that, either of them should be involved in if they're getting to the point where you know someone's threatening to shoot somebody like that's that's some serious shit and that's not that's not a healthy relationship at all it should never escalate to that point whether it's with friends family you know if you're escalated to the point where you're you have the the need or feeling to to harm this person or shoot it, it's not a good and if it constantly keeps happening you know we're humans we'll, we'll get mad here and there and We'll do something we regret, and that's just how life is, you know. We're humans. We make mistakes. But if it's constantly happening, and it just keeps happening, keeps happening, keeps happening, then clearly something here is not right, and this relationship just isn't meant to have to even, you know, take place. So, um, so yeah, I try to reach out to Buck. Um, I don't know what's going to go on. I hope, you know, all this gets resolved, and I hope Buck stays out of trouble because, um, like I said, man, I never want to see, you know, anything bad happen to any of the artists that I love or anybody period. So to this, this is just a sad situation. And I hope, um, Buck, you know, and his girlfriend, you know, solve this and just move on from the situation. I hope this never happens again because in and out of these type of problems is just sad situation. So,